say he, he, she, or it. I do not care about anything else. Especially how long, um, how long since you started? Uh, it's only been a few months. Um, Fuck I, it, mostly I'm gonna get off. Do, I mostly did um, planet side and ghost recon videos. Oh, nice shot. If I brought a stinger, we could have survived. What a waste. I stay tried. I don't know. So if I'm on here. Yeah, oh yeah, I remember quite... Battlefield 3 would have a third seat in so far. But Soflam was original. Soflam original. Like when Battlefield 3 came out, a Soflam was a vehicle mount thing. It wasn't a it wasn't something you could carry on your infantry person because it was not designed that way yet. It was still in the early stages of vehicle production. Don't you have a tow, Sam? You can use it to target. Forty-five kills with the nineteen. Yeah. You got in. I'm still re-downloading community operations. It's being a bit like EA always is. Did you start by streaming or downloading? I mean, uh, uploading. Yeah. I... are you talking about my, um... Thing? Oh, your volume was too low. Are you talking about my videos I put up? Yeah, your enterprise, whatever. Uploading entertainment to make money. Well, I started off by... just... creating videos. And then I... tried streaming but I found it very difficult to get a schedule together for streaming. So what I did was I stopped streaming and apologized to the viewers who enjoyed it and told them the reason and everyone seemed okay with it. When did you start? Everything. I started everything. I started around three months ago. That's why I've only got about a hundred people that actually watch actively. What do you stream, Battlefield? No, I stream Planet Side, which is basically Battlefield but better. And um... is that the game that runs on only like one core? Max? Planet side. Is it the game with poor performance that's really old? No, it doesn't have poor performance at all. Does it have pay to win elements where you can buy stuff to progress? When people complain the progression is slow? Mm, I wouldn't call it pay to win, I'd call it pay for convenience because you start with the best weapons in the game. Everyone starts or the ones that they? Everyone starts with the best weapon in the game for their faction. Everything else in the game has a lower all-around stat pool. Basically, here's what it is. Each player character starts with, on the blue faction. They start with a high damage, high damage, high rate of fire, 
or no, not high rate of fire. Lower rate of fire weapon that fires using Gauss technology to fire their weapon. So it's high damage, low fire rate, but they're really accurate and they are super light. They have the best tank when it comes to survivability because it has the ability to generate a shield around it. They have the heaviest damage weapons. They have the... Like highest DPS you mean, or just per shot? Highest damage per bullet. The red faction has the highest damage per second because they have the fastest fire rate, but they have the lowest damage per bullet. And then there's the purple faction, which has no bullet drop, but their weapons are very controllable. But the problem is they're just just straight up performance. If you fire them at an opponent, they're not going to have the fastest time to kill. They're not going to have the highest damage bullets to kill. Because they're not... Basically, the purple faction has the weakest weapons, but they're the most controllable, so you're probably going to be able to, to engage your opponent at a longer range. So you're saying the starting weapon for every faction is the best for that faction? Yes. For the purple faction, the LMG you get, the Orion as it's called, is considered the best gun in the game. For the red faction, you have weapons that are cons that are considered easy for new players to get into because you don't really have to you don't really have to aim that well in order to kill your opponent with them because their fast fire rate allows you to allows you to kind of be shaky with your aim and still be able to kill your opponent. And the blue faction has weapons that can two shot to the head even though they're fully automatic. So they have the best assault rifle and carbine in the game. I have the, to redownload the game. The red faction, however, has what is widely considered to be the highest damage tanks in the game because I'm not gonna of remember all that. Four, because they're four barrel cannons. They literally have rotary auto cannons on them. Um, so you've got the fast bullet, fast, lots of bullets, you've got the heavy bullets, and you've got the shiny bullets. And the purple are also referred to as the spandex loving nerds. When did the Planet Side 2 come out? Uh, I have no clue, let me check. And was the follow up like a battle royale? Yes, the follow up was a battle royale. What happened with it? It was terrible. That's literally all that happened with it. Everyone hated it because it was Battle Royale and they were taking things away from it. Uh, let's see. System requirements about the game. Reviews. Does the game change fast or slowly? Like, do they add a lot of stuff or...? Um, so far, they have added a ton of events, weapons, cool abilities, stuff like that. However, they have added... Okay, let me take... Put in perspective the maps. Each map is... The smallest map is 3 kilometer by 3 kilometer. And the biggest map is 5 kilometer by 5 kilometer. They have added two new maps. One that added an entire new mechanic, vehicle type, and uh, weapon class with it, called the underwater weapons, the boats, and the um, stuff like that. The other one added more infantry focused fights and more foliage in the area. The game suffers graphically because um, it needs performance. However, it needs performance. The game, each map is huge. They're called continents for a reason. So they, what, the what the game doesn't uh, have good mesh where they use smaller models for things far away so it doesn't lag. 
Okay, let me put it this way. There are, there can be up to a thousand players on each map at a time for each faction. That's a CPU use issue. There, the reason they use the smaller, the less graphically intensive stuff is because there are so many players that could be fighting at this base that if you have a 300 player fight, it'll, it still chugs down to like 90 FPS. 90 or 9? 90. Okay. I mean, you could just have it uh, less uh, cheaper player models when there's a lot of players to render. It, that would make the game very in. That would make the game very inconsistent with how everything would look because a lot of the time you're having massive battles with 300 players on each on, in each faction fighting at the same territory. Um, each ter each map has at least 90 bases that players can fight at. Those range from massive spires that reach up into the sky and are very good aircraft battles. When they, did Planet Side 2 come out? Um, I'm actually still looking for that. Oh, uh, you can just give an approximation. My guess would be 2010? It's the... Oh, 2012. The 10th year anniversary is was last year. I'm gonna call this not that old. Yeah, but no one has ever tried to make a game. And S sorry, it was a huge explosion. You said nobody was trying to make a game, and nobody has ever tried to make a game this large before, except for MMO player. In that, except for MMO games and MMO games don't usually have this style of gameplay. I don't think I've ever seen an MMO with this style of gameplay and this level of graphical fidelity. Or this amount of uniqueness to it. its appearance. There are actually four factions, but one of them is a mercenary group that fights for the lowest population. Alright, um, the vehicles, are, do they, are they suckier before you get the upgrades for them, like in Battlefield? Yes, however, you can upgrade them very quickly if you focus on them. But a lot of new players, they decide, they think, oh crap, I'm dying to this weapon a lot in close range, this must be the best gun for close range. Mm -hmm. And they buy it. That's a big mistake. What happens after? They've run out of currency, and this game, you can focus on whatever you want to, but the currency is what you use to get those upgrades. It's slower to unlock than Battlefield uh, 4 or 3? Oh, it's much slower to unlock stuff. I can but, watch 10x. Um, to put it in perspective, I think you could unlock every weapon in this game in about the time it would take for you to unlock every vehicle weapon and half the infantry weapons in Battlefield 4. That would be for uh, one weapon or what? That would be for every weapon in this game. Without so. any vehicle stuff. But if you focus on vehicles, you'll get you'll only need to get, say, one ability slot for your vehicle one weapon for your vehicle per type of combat you'll go into, so maybe three types of vehicle weapons. And... Maybe one chassis. If you want to spend the extra currency on it. So okay, so for unlocking all the vehicles in Battlefield 3 and half the, the gun, what, attachments or just guns? Um, in this game, each vehicle has their own weapon type. Each vehicle has their own. Okay, here's how it works. There are three types of weapons for vehicles. Gunner weapons, main cannons, and light main cannons. 
for the ground vehicles alone. Those three are used for any vehicle for the gun weapons. Light tanks for the light can main cannon weapons and heavy tanks for the heavy main cannon weapons. Each weapon has very unique art style to it that works well with the tank that they're being used for. So for the blue faction, you've got weapons that almost look like an M1's Abrams tank if you design it, if you pick those weapons. For the purple faction, you've got very space age blaster cannons and whatnot. And for the red faction, you've got a quad barrel cannon as the most unique weapon on their vehicle. And that's just for the main battle tanks. The main battle tanks also operate differently for each faction. For the blue faction, you start with an overshield that protects your tank, but uses up power to use it. For the, per for the red faction, you've got a deploy, which basically nails it to the ground so that they can get faster fire rate and faster reloads. And for the purple faction, you have a ability to deflect a one, one lethal blow away from your vehicle. Okay, so how long would it take to unlock um, one good gun, one good equipment for uh, like every vehicle in every class? For every class, it would take you probably... For me, it took me three days to get every the best weapon for all classes on my blue faction unit. It took me... That's 12 hours per day or what, 36 hours total? It also... It, while I did that, I also picked up a main cannon for my heavy tank, a anti-aircraft gun for my light tank, and a anti-infantry gunner weapon for every vehicle I had. So it took me three days to get an anti-air gun, anti-tank weapon, and anti-infantry weapons for all my vehicles. Every, every best weapon that is most commonly loved by all the players and all the main tryhards use them and a every single aircraft weapon in the game. So it took me three days of play for all of them. And that was constant play, not just not just free play sessions. So basically it took me 72 hours to get every aircraft weapon, good weapons for all vehicles, and the best infantry weapon for each class. And how good do you have to be in the scoreboard for that? I'm very bad at the game. You're very bad at the game? Yes. There's a scoreboard. I get about... The scoreboard doesn't matter. All that matters is, are you having fun? To be honest, I started with the medic class and was all, was all I was doing was healing people. I was healing, I was reviving, that's all I did with my medic class. And that got me 300,000 certs in two days which is enough currency to purchase everything in the game that I needed. However, I spent that last day purchasing everything that I wanted and deciding what I wanted. There's also a trial mechanic that lets you try different infantry weapons for, well, I think it's an hour, without any consequence. No cost? No cost. It just lets you pick up a weapon from the 
armory that you think you might want to grab and try it out for an hour. Now, that does not reset when you die, that just, it's just, you have an hour of dying, respawning, using the weapon, dying, respawning, using the weapon. However, it does have a two hour cooldown. So, you get to use a weapon for an hour every two, every three hours. You Every three hours, you have the ability to to grab a new weapon and try it out. Do weapons Whatever. have attachments? Yes, weapons have attachments. They have a barrel, a rail, a sight, and an ammunition slot. They also have skin, but those are not important. Are, are the attachments very important? They're not good enough to make up for the weapon's downsides. However, they have been changed slightly. So if you want a good hip fire on a... If you want good hip fire, you'll pick a weapon that has good... Increase its hip fire by around 10%. The most you'll gain is probably 20% accuracy from a heavy barrel, a forward grip, and so, a... So what's the conclusion? Uh, the best the attachments are don't that much? They don't matter at all, to be honest. Right. You start with a red dot sight for every single weapon that you start with. That's good. Um, and... That's all you really need. Do you have a 4K monitor? Um, no I do not, but it doesn't matter because it still looks fine to me. I honestly wouldn't play it on 4K even if I did. Why? Too hard to because run? Because there's no reason to. It looks good enough as is. I have seen people play it on 4K. But there's really no difference in playing when it comes to that because aside from the infantry looking, aside from the infantry models, everything is pretty simplistic. Is infantry very clear to see or does it like fade into the background sometimes? Um, the only time it'll fade into the background is during night battles when there is a absolute ton of infantry firing at each other and lots of max suits firing max suits are basically the infantry version of a tank they're basically a mech suit that that moves slower and has two main guns instead of one they're very yeah, it's basically, it's just an infantryman in power armor. Think like, are you familiar with 40k? Do you know what the difference between a Terminator and a Space Marine? Okay, well basically, they're slightly bigger than an infantryman, and they have two guns, but they're not so, they're basically, they're bigger than infantry, and they have better weapons, but they're slower, but they can still walk through a door. They're they're bigger, but not so big that they can they have to stay outside the building. And they cost vehicle materials in order to join into the battle. So they're basically a force multiplier for infantry fights. Um as a matter of fact, if you go to the Planet Side 2 Steam page, the, the first image that shows up is an image of two Maxes and an infantryman. There, there may be a third bigger than the infantry. Does, does the score on the scoreboard scale uh, well correlate well with unlock speed? Yes. If you're really good at the game and you get a lot of kills and you get a lot of capture points, you will unlock everything. You'll unlock every weapon in the game for all vehicles, all infantry, at, in around a day, if you're really good. Like top of the scoreboard. If you're top of the scoreboard, you'll have everything quickly. You won't need anything. 
Um, and whenever you level up in the game, like rank up or whatever, you get 100 infant you get 100 certification points, which is the currency. Uh, um, do do units get spotted like in battlefield with like a red dot above yeah. them or something? Yes, they have oh, a little time above okay. them. Because they're always easy to see because of that. No, it's not that. It's not that simple. The dots, that doesn't really matter. It's really just the fact that the the people are so unique in their appearance that you're not gonna miss someone by. You're not going to miss out on seeing somebody because you move too quickly with your camera. What if they're too far away? If they're too far away, you just kind of have to look a little bit closer. Or just spam the spot button like you do in Battlefield. Okay. Personally, I so play it's the... Kinda like, is it equal to Battlefield in terms of visibility of players? I think it's a little bit easier to see than Battlefield. Oh. Unless people are throwing smoke grenades. Then it's harder to see. Okay. I presume the game uh, runs easier than Crisis 2, right? Yeah, it's, it's pretty easy to run. I'm running a single core PC and I can still run it fine. Single core PC? Yeah. That a thing? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's old. It's like my granddad's computer. Come on. Is it, is it older than the game? Yes, this like... computer is like nineteen something Does... when it was made. You have a like? Did you add a new GPU or something? No, this is the original GPU, which is a single core GPU, or no, 